Hello everybody, this is going to be another Warcraft 101. Uh, today we're going to talk about Medivh, the Magus Medivh, who is a pretty big character in the, the lore of Warcraft, although he hasn't really appeared that much in World of Warcraft. Um, but it's going to be about him. He's the guy, for those of you who don't know, he's the bird guy in Warcraft 3, the guy who uh, is the prophet who tries to get the, uh, the uh, horde and the alliance together to fight um, this oncoming Burning Legion led by Archimonde. Um, there's a lot to him. He's kind of complex. So uh, we're going to get to it. It's not going to be like a chronicling of one specific novel like a lot of my 101s have been. Although it's going to take a lot from a book called The Last Guardian by uh, this guy Jeff Grubb. I have it here in the archive. But it could be in its own book. And it's got a picture of the Dark Portal and orcs coming through on the cover. And it's about Medivh. Um, basically, and who he is and what the last guardian is. So to understand this, you gotta know what the guardians are, what the what the last guardian is referring to. So we're gonna do a little background first on um, that. So here we go. This is Warcraft 101, Warcraft lore 101 um, about Medivh. Okay, the guardians of Trisfall are. Um, uh, it's a guardian chosen by the Order of Trisfall. Uh, the Trisfall is this order of really powerful mages um, that were that was made up in secret to choose one guardian to guard against any demonic powers that are going to come to Azeroth um, secretly behind everything, um, just in case this whole Burning Crusade could happen again because it's happened once, way a long time ago. I'm talking about uh, the War of the Ancients. This happened before humans were around. Um, the only races around were Torn, Night Elves, um, Trolls. Trolls? Yeah, I think Trolls. Um, and Dwarves in stone form. So this was the first coming of the Burning Legion a long, long time ago during uh, with the Well of Eternity, the Sundering, all this stuff. We'll get into this. could be another one on one. But that happened, and it was almost the end of Azeroth way back then. Sargeras tried to come through and destroy the world. Um, so to, pre to prevent that from happening, um, this this order of the Trisfall was was uh, organized in secret, and it's named after where they have their meetings, and it's in the Trisfall Glades. For those of you who know that where that is, in the world of Warcraft, it's in the northern part of Azeroth. Um, so they choose this guardian, who is this one powerful mage who each one of the powerful mages in the order give some of their powers to to make them even more power powerful and then they get mega power from the Sunwell which has to do with the High Elves and um, with the Blood Elves and all that you may know um, so they have this one mega powerful mage that is the culmination of all of this chosen by the Order of Trisfall they call him the Guardian of Trisfall, there's only been like four Medivh was the last one therefore the name of the book being the last guardian Okay, so Midi's mother was the one before him, and she was chosen because one of the guardians um, had like four students, and she was the best one, so he chose her to be given the powers of the guardians of Trisfall. So her name was Agwin. Um, I don't know if that's pronounced right. Forgive me. It's A-E-G-W-Y-N-N, -N, I think. So I'm just going to call it Agwin. This is Midi's mother, and she grew up. And she became the guardian of Trisfall for a very long time. Um, way longer than she was supposed to, actually. But she was just this mega powerful mage, obviously, because of all the powers given to her. And she would fight demons. Anytime they'd come about, she would just go and murder them. Just any time. Just, um, it happened like there was a demon possessing school children, and she went in, and she was like, F this, you can't F with the children, and just murder them mage style, just magic, blah, blah, blah. I don't really know the story. It was just given as background. Um... And uh, the the order of Trisfall didn't really like her too much. She's too much of a renegade. Um, she kind of used her magic like too much, and she was like, "I don't care. I'm just like the baddest mage ever, and I save the world. That's what I do. I'm the children are being corrupted. I'm gonna save the children." The order of Trisfall didn't want to go in so quick because there could be a lot of collateral damage, and she was like, "No, I'm saving them." So she didn't have the. Uh, the full backing of the Order of Trisfall, which she doesn't give a shit because she's the most powerful mage ever. So, um, she fights demons wherever, and she actually had this huge battle with Sargeras, 
or the Avatar of Sargeras. This was um, not really Sargeras because Sargeras really has never stepped foot in Azeroth because if he did, that would be the end of everything. And that's the ultimate goal of this whole Burning Legion is to bring Sargeras to Azeroth so he can destroy everything. But the Avatar of Sargeras was just this formation of Sargeras' spirit. And uh, he came about and Aglin's like, I'm the Guardian of Trisfall, I'm the most powerful mage in the world, F it. I'll fight him, bring it. So she goes and fights his Avatar Sargeras, and she's a badass and she takes him down. Um, or so she thinks. So she takes down the Avatar Sargeras. After this, her head grows even bigger. Um, not in a negative way, like I don't think she's like full of herself. I think she's justified because she is the baddest mage ever. So she goes in and she just F the order of the Triss Fall. I'm the guardian and I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to save the world from demons. So she does it for more and more years. The order of Triss Fall pressures her. She's got to find somebody else to be the next guardian. And because that's her job. She's supposed to find the next person. Along with the order of Triss Fall, supposed to have their two cents, but she doesn't really care what they say. So to defy them even more, she decides she's going to have uh, a son or daughter. She decides she's going to have a kid and give this person all the powers of the guardian of Triss Fall. And so she's like, screw them. So she does. She finds uh, somebody who's like, uh, he works for the king of, he's like a high mage in the kingdom of uh, Stormwind at the time. And, uh, the name wasn't Stormwind a long time ago. It was just called the kingdom of Azeroth. Um, it was given the name Stormwind later. Um, so one of the high mages in the kingdom of Stormwind, she goes to him, pretends to be in love with him, and has sex with him for nights just so she can get pregnant. And she gets pregnant with Medivh. Um, unknowing to this, uh, when she fought the Avatar of Sargeras, he didn't really die. His spirit came out and went into her like a cancer. She didn't know. And just lived within her, lying in wait for this very moment, for her to conceive a child so he can bury himself into this child. Um, so that's Medivh. That's how he comes about. So Medivh is born by Aguin. Um, Sargeras lies dormant in Medivh, and no one really knows yet. Um, he grows up, he's a normal child, he knows he's different, he knows he's like mega powerful mage. Um, Aguin gives him all his powers, and he becomes the next guardian as he's growing. Um, when he's like uh, 14 or so, he's like a young um, person. Something happens to him in his life. He's good friends here. He's good friends with Lothar and uh, Lane Wern. W-R-Y-N-N is how you spell his last name. He's like the king of Stormwind later. Um, and his son is the current king of Stormwind. Who's like uh, in Wrath of Lich King and stuff. Um, the guy that was missing the whole time. And his grandson was that kid. Before, this is when I played World of Warcraft. Before all the expansion packs. There was like a kid who was the king of Stormwind because... Um, Lane's son was missing, so there's this kid that was over there. So that's Lane's grandson. Lane's son is the current king um, of the humans, and uh, Lane is this guy. So they're all like 14, and this guy Lothar, who becomes the commander of the army later on during all of Warcraft 1 and Warcraft 2. Um, they're like best friends, Medivh, Lothar, and uh, King Lane, who's not king yet, he's just a prince. And uh, they're good friends, and they hang out all the time. And they walk around Stranger Thorn Vale, just like on a hunt or whatever. I don't even know. They're on like a trail hike. And they get attacked by jungle trolls at this time. And uh, they fight. And Lothar, he's he's trained to be a warrior, so he's badass. He fights off a few. King Lane, whatever. But Medivh, is, he's the effing guardian of Trisfall. <laughs> you know? They don't really know much about it as kids, but he's a mega powerful mage. And he just, after casting tons of spells, get rid of this light this troll on fire, I don't know exactly how it goes down, but, but like, make lightning strike this to troll, like, blow this troll up with magic energy, because I'm the baddest mage in the world, fights all these trolls off and, um, passes out, and, uh, is, and he actually goes into a coma for, like, 20 years, um, and during this time is when Sargeras is making his way into Midi's being inside of him. And during this time is when Sargeras starts to take control, the spirit of Sargeras starts to take control of Medivh. Um, he awakes 20 years later and and he's older now and everyone's older and King Lane is the king and uh, his friend Lothar is the commander of the Alliance army.